six. Good evening, Terry. Hey, Matt. How are you, sir? I'm well, thanks. What How would you, you like to say? Uh, just a simple question for you. I know the answer. I'm wondering if you do as well. Oh, I hate these kind of quizzes, Terry. <laughs> but you know I'm not going to know the answer. It's ridiculous. Well, no. You, you might know the answer. You should know the answer. Go on, Terry. Right. Ch Chelman Gold Co. Soft ground. Who would win? Out of Kato Star or Denman? Both winning at the peak. Both no no such choice as Kato Quarter. Yeah, all right then. Okay. So, sorry, I've got a choice of Quarter Star, you the other lot? Denman. Who would win out of those two? If it's it, the Chelman Gold Cup, the Blue Ribbon, it's run on soft ground. Cheltenham in March. All parties are at the top of the top of the game. Who would win? Um, who would win on soft ground? Well, cause um, I say soft ground because that's what Nationals run on mostly, isn't it? Soft ground. I would go with Corto Star. I knew you'd get it wrong. Denman's the answer, Matt. Mind you, you've already committed Denman as a brother, haven't you? So. You, you probably forced your hand to take a quarter star anyway. No, I went with the fact that when Demon won the Gold Cup, it was good to soft. What's that got to do with it? Well, the fact that he won it on good to soft might mean that the other horse would win it on soft. On well, the softer the ground, the better for, for Denman. Well, what evidence do you have for that statement, Terry? Oh, well, what was the handicap? Well, Denman won, giving loads away to... Uh, the uh, the Hennessy Cognac Gold Cup? Yeah, do you think Kato Star could have done what Denman did that day? I don't know, but... No, you... because Nichols wouldn't even run him. He wouldn't even ask Kato or Kato Star to do that. Well, all I know is that in a career of 24 races, uh, Denman only won on three occasions on soft or heavy ground. All the other occasions he won were on good to soft or good, suggesting that he was actually better on better ground and also suggesting, Terry that your statistical the, analysis is wrong. What was the ground? No, 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 no. You're not getting out of it that easy, Matt. What was the ground when Denman won the handicap? Were you just... Uh, as I've just said, and I'll repeat myself again for your purpose only, um, he won three races in his career on either soft or heavy. One of those was the Hennessy. But your question to me, as far as I remember, was who would win the Gold Cup on soft ground? And because the majority of Denman's winning form was on better ground, I've decided to up with Corto Star. No, you've got, no, you got it wrong, Matt. It, Denman would win. Both of us at the peak, Denman would win. What was the ground when he won the NSC? That was his best performance ever. Uh, as I've said now three times... Heavy ground, Matt. Was, heavy ground. Uh, no, it was soft ground, actually, Terry. Very soft. No, just soft. Oh, no, it was soft then. <laughs> yeah, it was soft. So, it, so Denman's best performance... Has come on soft ground. Uh, no. You're digging an hole for yourself, Matt. No, his best performance didn't come on soft ground. No, he was rated one six one when he won the Hennessy, and he later won on good to soft ground off one seven six. So to say the Hennessy win was his best performance would be ridiculous. Although that was his first Hennessy, to be honest. His second Hennessy did come off a mark of one seven four, but one seven four was two pounds below his top rating and therefore cannot be seen as his best performance. The thing is, Matt, you've got the question wrong. It's a simple question well, and you've got it wrong. All I've got to say to you is, Terry, I may have got the question wrong, but you got the answer wrong. Goodbye. That is Terry. Gee. Jeez.